Hey Steve again. Uh, here we got another uh, project. I'm going to give a shot here. Uh, made this board a while back, but uh, what I'm really working on here, if you look, I made this uh, sign up here and got a few tips off the uh, YouTube here and went ahead. This is my first attempt to carve this in a, a fence post that I uh, bought one of the uh, stores, but I don't think it was. I uh, run it through a planer, but that board was not a cedar board and I see that they said you could use those from uh, out west they get them but I haven't been able to find any here so I left this one dry and planed it but here's my next uh, boards I'm going to attempt to do. I have a friend of mine cut these from uh, a log and cut them at an angle and I actually saw someone else had a sign like this that somebody made so I had him free handies with a saw. This one here came out into a wedge so I'm going to go ahead and use it anyway. These here I was able to run through my planer Here's the side that I run through the planer, and here's one. This is the other side here that I've already run sanding sealer on, and I put polyurethane on there already. So when I grind that out with the router, I'll be able to backfill that. I don't know if I'm going to paint it yet, or I'm just going to use a magic marker to paint that. But you'll be able to see on this piece of wood here, I'm going to work more with the polyurethane. But you can see here the shine that just came out on here. That wood's got a nice shine to it there. Out here we can go ahead and see on my fishing shack here. I made another one there. I got this piece of wood, found it in the scrap. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, but you can see up here it's got a uh, kind of a knot in it. But I did the same thing there. So that's two of them. We're going to try this uh, other piece here and see what happens. I'll get those routered and see what how it works. Okay, here we go. I uh, got two of them routered. Uh, not sure what I'm going to put on the third. Uh, quite surprised how this came out. The, I believe this wood is ash. I uh, did this for a friend of mine. He's going to go ahead and put black in here. Would have liked to see what this would look like uh, coming alive with a polyurethane, but I'm going to finish sanding that and give him back that piece for cutting these others for me. This one here came out like this. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, and I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, polyurethane this and uh, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, here we go. Got that uh, grinding done last night. Got uh, three total pieces. Uh, haven't done the one, but done two. This one here um, this is for a friend of mine. The, did the cutting. It's hard to see in here, but in these grooves right here, I left uh, those and didn't sand them all out and gave it kind of a burn effect when this went in. He decided he's going to go ahead and color that in black. This one here, I did. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm hoping it highlights these burn marks. That's kind of uh, nice. I think I'm going to try it on here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, polyurethane it just the way it is without coloring it. And then I'll uh, overcoat this more. There's a shine on here. It's hard to tell on the camera. There's a shine on there. So uh, this is kind of nice. When I plane this, you can't really see it, but I left the grooves still in there and then take the planer all the way down it gives a little bit of character so I could have went a little bit more but I didn't know how it was going to work uh, I guess this wood is ash and that must be why they cut it down but uh, probably could do something with this and uh, give it a center point of some sort of a piece but I'm new at this so uh, these two came out pretty nice give that to him let him get it finished up and uh, go from there okay here we go got those uh, signs finished up uh, of course, you can see what they say. Um, this here was one of the uh, fence boards. I uh, went ahead and darkened that out, actually. I uh, just took my time, used a magic marker. This one here, really liked how the wood came out. That was a pine board that I put stain on. Hard to tell in here, but the burn marks in the uh, lettering uh, look real nice. So I decided to just go ahead and uh, go with uh, polyurethane over that. And uh, came out pretty good. Of course, I think you've seen this one here before. That's the one that's in the uh, piece of ash. So, this is about three or four that I've done, uh, various ways or whatever, so uh, worked out pretty good.